Christ the Lord is risen today. He is risen indeed. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. 
Almighty and eternal God, we give thanks to you for the triumph of Jesus in life and in death. Grant that our praises may be joined with those of all people everywhere who worship you in spirit and in truth, in prayer and in praise. Christ, you have been raised from the dead. O death, where is your victory? O grave, where is your sting? Christ the Lord has risen. Thanks be to God, for he is risen indeed. Amen. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened, as they were greatly perplexed about this, that, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then, as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again? And they remembered his words. Then they returned from the tomb and told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them, who told these things to the apostles. And their words seemed to them like idle tales, and they did not believe them. But Peter arose and ran to the tomb, and stooping down, he saw the linen cloths lying by themselves, and he departed, marveling to himself at what had happened. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Go forth from this moment, seeking out reminders of the resurrection, sharing the good news with all you meet, shouting aloud for all to hear, Christ the Lord is risen today. Christ the Lord is risen indeed. Amen, amen, alleluia.
Thank you.